when people say, what was it like growing up in the Jackson family? My answer is kind of boring because I saw them as my family, my father, my uncles, my aunts. Um, it was, you know, maybe once a week or once every other week where you'd realize the impact your family actually has on others. But the dominant way I felt was just, they're my family. It wasn't until you go to their shows and you see Pandemonium or you go to the store, the Toys R Us with your Uncle Michael, and then, you know, you have to run out for your lives. Those kind of things is when you realize, oh yeah, they also do music at a high level. I'll never forget, I was playing basketball in a gym I think it was in Memphis or somewhere in like a random gym. And some guy um, was talking to me about the Destiny album and he knew more about it than myself. And he was talking about it like it was part of him. He knew every detail of it. And your uncle, this uncle wrote this one and this and what's cool about it. He was just an encyclopedia and I would have never predicted it coming from that person. And what I've noticed is when, when a lot of times when black people are talking about my family, there's a, a lot of joy and a lot of excitement and forget what they're talking, what the discussion's about. There's an underlying message that I receive about the impact my family has. And that's something that I think, again, my grandparents, my father, my uncles and aunts, they've been very humble about. Because when I look back about my youth, they never talked about that. They just wanted us, us, the second generation, to be raised well, respected, respectful, um, do the right thing, and to be happy and to follow our goals and to do the, and, and to believe in ourselves. There's been so much advice. I think one of the best is from my uncle Michael is to understand the power music has, and not just in your country, around the world. You can change people's lives. You can be the soundtrack for. Um, an important event. You can inspire them out of depression um, that, to respect and own and, and be deliberate with your music. It's an important message that an important opportunity you have. And there's been many examples, you know, even I'll get emails and texts and, and group messages about people who are suffering in the hospital with COVID and they listen to me or my brothers and I or my family and it's helping them get through those situations. There was a time where I kind of lost the love of doing music. The business side of it got um, a little too heavy for me. It got too nasty. And, um, but when, when, you, when you noticed, and exactly, when, when you go through life experiences and you see the impact your, your family's music has had, you realize, you know, you have an opportunity. We believe that we, that through music, we should be spreading a message of love. And that is something I, I think sometimes gets lost. And it stems from my grandmother. My grandmother has always been a place of safety and a place of stability. And, a, and a, it just gives you an inner rhythm of, of calmness that I think has been able to help us get through all of that. But we're just a family of love. We believe in humanity. We believe in spreading a great message. We, we believe in inspiring people. And that is something that's in our, is, is the way we are raised. And I think, like I said, it comes from grandma.